I don't think he will ever win a pro show ever again. I don't think he will make it to the Olympia ever. Let me just start this video and say Greg Doucette basically lost all credibility in my books. A couple weeks ago, he called out Wesley Vissers, and as you're about to see, Greg Doucette definitely eats his own words. Let me just say from my viewpoint and my opinion, I feel as though there is something behind the scenes in a relationship we don't know between Greg and Wesley. It almost seems as though Greg uploaded that video out of just pure hatred. What do I not like about him? The best part of the entire situation is Wesley didn't even need to make a response video. He simply just had to win a pro show. I'm gonna give you my opinion on why he doesn't do so good in classic physique and so on really thinks he's better than he is. He's very, I would call it, cocky, which is fine. That's cool. Arnold was cocky. But he can't back it up with his build. So it's like, you can say how good you are, but then when you get 10th at the Arnold... Greg Doucette goes on in the video to call Wesley cocky, says he doesn't have an impressive physique at all. Basically, Dan Bilzerian, who many of you may remember, Greg Doucette talked about a couple videos back, where Greg stated Dan Bilzerian has elite genetics and physique. So Greg, let me get this right. You think Dan Bilzerian has elite genetics and a physique, but yet Wesley does not. Something doesn't add up here. He really thinks he's better than he is. He's very, I would call it, cocky. But that first statement of Wesley being cocky is nothing but, from at least from my experience, false. Every time I have met Wesley in person at Expos at Olympia last year, he has been nothing but the most genuine, humble, and giving guy. And basically, he got famous or popular because of Nick's strength and power. Nick's strength and power had run a, basically, some kind of like, online competition of who's the most classic guy. Also, you'll hear Greg state that Wesley's fame came from NSP because as many of you know, Nick Strength and Power runs a classic physique contest and Wesley, I believe last year, two years ago, ended up winning that. And for some reason, Greg believes that is the only reason Wesley became famous. Where I can speak with 100% certainty, I was a fan of Wesley and subscribed to his YouTube channel. I'm sure there's thousands, if not close to 100,000, before Nick Strength and Power ever made a video on Wesley. So Greg is wrong. Wesley's fame did not come from Nick Strength and Power. Obviously, it helped, you know, better his career, give him a larger platform, a bigger audience to grow from where he was already at. But to say his fame only came from a shout out in multiple videos from Nick Strength and Power is completely and utterly false. I'm pretty sure even Nick can touch on this. If he got way leaner and added more muscle, he would do better. Because classic physique, they literally are going for big guys. Now another incredible and funny part is Greg states if he got way leaner and added more muscle, he would do better. Like no shit, Greg. That's the entire emphasis of bodybuilding. Everyone wants to be leaner and bigger. I don't necessarily think you'll ever hear someone say if he was way softer and way smaller, he would do better. The entire goal and emphasis of competing in bodybuilding is to get leaner and add more muscle. And as many of you saw in the beginning of the video, Greg Doucette makes many claims saying Wesley will never win a pro show. He will never qualify for Olympia. I don't think he will ever win a pro show ever again. Then what does Wesley do? A couple days later, wins a pro show and immediately qualifies for Olympia. Obviously, when Greg Doucette uploaded that video, it got a huge negative response because many people, much like myself, who have personally talked to Wesley know how humble and how respectful he is. The entire video really just didn't make any sense. Greg didn't have any valid points. He tried to talk about his physique, which none of it made any sense because obviously Wesley just went and won a pro show. What do I not like about him? I hate his vacuum. His vacuum is horrible. His vacuum sucks. Forget the vacuum. Just because you're in classic doesn't mean you have to do a vacuum. He bashes Wesley's vacuum, even though it is still really good and aesthetically pleasing. I'm not going to lie, it's not up to par with, say, Chris Bumstead, but it's definitely better than majority of classic physique athletes out there. In fact, if you want to bash his vacuum so bad, Greg, why don't you go ahead and hit a vacuum on your next YouTube video? 
I am incredibly happy for Wesley because I know how much this means to him. As I said, I've been subscribed to Wesley for such a long time and he is such a humble and kind guy. And I hope some of you have the pleasure to meet him one day at a future expo or at Olympia because as I just stated, he qualified from winning this pro show. I don't think he will ever win a pro show ever again. I don't think he will make it to the Olympia ever. I don't think he'll get in on points. And I think that he's highly overrated. I think there's dozens and dozens of better classic physique guys. But then Greg contradicts himself and says that Wesley's brand of vintage genetics, where it's all about being classic, isn't anything classic, but yet he said he looks like Arnold. I'm sorry, Greg, but that is the entire emphasis of Wesley's brand is old school classic. You are all definitely more than welcome to watch Greg's video yourself. I believe it was uploaded around two weeks ago at the time of my recording now. And it's a complete and utter train wreck. I've definitely made bad videos in the past. And as I stated, this is just my opinion because I know Wesley on a personal level and it's great to see him win a pro show and qualify for Olympia. And he definitely deserves it. He brought an incredible package. I'm actually interested to see if Greg will upload a response to Wesley's win. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you are new to the Kenny KO channel, please make sure to subscribe. And on that note, I will catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.